Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Diamond. Um, If you lived in Australia, you might see something different right now when applying for a passport. Because now, lawmakers have changed the application and you can put male, female, or indeterminate. In the past, when people were going to and from Australia, they were getting stopped because their physical gender does not match what is on their passport because there was no way in changing it. But now, with a doctor's letter, you are able to have the approval to put that you are a trans person and that you are that. So you don't have to be locked up or detained or go through special searches and da 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 It is Australia's way of, you know, accommodating trans people. That side of it is great. I think that they are taking the initiative and, you know, making some changes to accommodate the different people in the world. I think that's a great step. Louise Pratt is one of the lawmakers in Australia, and she is in a relationship with a trans man. Um, and here's what she had to say about it. There have been very many cases of people who've been detained at airports, by immigration, in foreign countries, simply because their passports don't reflect what they look like. It's very distressing, highly inconvenient, and frankly, sometimes dangerous. I thought this was beautiful to point out that um, someone, a partner, you know, someone that is in a relationship with one of us, is proud and, you know, forthright about the relationship and supports the change and the fight for equality and um, better social conditions. So I thought this was important for me to point out. That's why I put it there. Anyway. <laughs> so, here in the U.S., if you had a choice to put male, female, or a T, maybe, where you have F, M, and T, would you put the T or would you put just F? Would you, do you think that's a good idea, like on job applications? Now, if you put T, it opened up the door for them knowing that you're a T, and so therefore, they can discriminate you and not hire because you're telling them that you're a T. So, that can be a problem. I'm kind of on the fence about that, on whether or not I would actually check <laughs> in determined. I definitely would just check female. <laughs> That's what I would check, but you know, I, I don't know. I just, I feel weird about that. I'm kind of on the fence on that part, but I I do feel like it's a step in the right direction. I do commend Australia for taking the initiative in, you know, realizing that there are different type of people. Everything is not black and white, male, female, and, you know, some people fall in that other category. So, therefore, you know, I, I, I commend them for trying. I, you know, I just think that's an admirable thing. So... Still, tell me what you all think. Do you think that would be a good idea? Do you think that, um, you know, it's a good thing or a bad thing? This is your girl, Diamond. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put the link to the information on the bottom. Have a good day.